And so we come to our closing prayers as we pray for the church and for the world around us and we pray for ourselves. I invite you after my words, we, we thank you for your love and compassion to join me in saying, help us to show that love today. We thank you, Lord, for your love and compassion. Help us to show that love today. God of love, our heads and minds are full of images of people held hostage in the Holy Land, those caught up in violence, those grieving the death of loved ones, young and old. We feel helpless. And yet through our prayers we can stand alongside those who are suffering today those we do not know but are known to you. And so we hold that land before you now. And we hold Jew and Arab, Israeli and Palestinian in our hearts. And we pray for all who are grieving and suffering and struggling. We know your love for them. We thank you for your love and compassion. Help us to show that love today. God of peace, we feel helpless in the face of global politics. But we pray for the leaders of Palestinians and Israelis, of Russians and Ukrainians, of all the nations. We pray for hardened hearts to be softened, for wisdom and insight, of a new will, of new compassion. We pray that all your children throughout the world may come to live in safety, in justice and in peace. We thank you for that vision. And we thank you for your love and compassion. Help us to show that love today. God of healing and wholeness, we see your love at work in many people. In those involved in health care, in hospital wards, in care homes. Across the world we think and pray for the safety of health care workers, of surgeons and nurses in places of great danger. We see that love at work in those bringing relief and aid. And we pray for our own community and those working in hospitals and care homes in this local area. We pray for those we know who are ill at this time, asking your healing for those sick in body, mind or spirit. We name them in the quietness of our hearts in this moment. Bring them strength, bring them peace. Surround them with your love today and those who are caring or anxious for them. Lord, we thank you for your love and compassion. Help us to show that love today.
Your love unites us in worship and strengthens us through prayer. We pray for your church, Lord, today in all its different traditions, its different experiences and places, your global church and your church in this place. We pray that all who worship you may receive your guidance to live and love as you would have us do. May the places where we gather be places of welcome, of friendship, of healing and peace. May your love reunite and refresh us today. Lord, we thank you for that love and compassion. Help us to show that love today. And so as we celebrate your love for us, we bring to you our own needs and the needs of our neighbours. We humbly seek your comfort in our distress, your wisdom in our ignorance, your hope and your strength in our weakness. May your gifts inspire us to give. Your love deepen our love. We ask our prayers, silent and spoken, in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.